Hello, this is Randy Johnson again, and I thought I would share a quick tip about getting some nice mesh on your sweep nerbs or, uh, well, anything else that is spline based. So, I figure we could start out by uh, making a spline. I'll just use a cubic, it, it really isn't important what you use right now. And you can take a circle or whatever you choose. I'm going to scale it down quite a bit here. And, uh, place it in the sweep nerves. So well, it is faced the wrong way right now, so I'll just switch that. Still wrong. There we go. So now we have a nice little tube and a horrible mesh. It is just far too many polygons for here. And that's for a couple of reasons. Um, the biggest reason is that we're using a circle and our intermediate points along our spline. So if we go into our intermediate point, points here, we have adaptive, whereas if we twitch, switch that to a uniform, it'll be a little bit uglier, obviously, but you can see we have far, far cleaner. So what I'd like to do instead of that is uh, drop the circle entirely and go with an N side. And the N side isn't, well, it's not the smoothest circle to start with, but it lets you control everything. So now your mesh is extremely uniform and you can actually work with it. And now you have a nice round, nice round mesh. And when you want to work on a low poly project, swapping out, a, swapping out a circle for an end side and perhaps even adding some sides to it is going to be far more efficient than using a circle. 